So here's another example. Uh, Glog, Gas Log. It's a company that uh, ships liquefied natural gas on vessels. As you can see, there is a, a very steady uptrending line uh, from point A through F. Along the way, you had many opportunities to make uh, good profits, such as point D, by point at E, by at point F. Uh, you could have bought stock at any of these points at low teens, and the stock ultimately went to uh, mid-20s. But what's interesting here uh, in this chart is that there is another steeper trend line formed after stocks started taking off in the late 2013. And as you can see, this uh, steeper trend line uh, was eventually penetrated, then um, followed by recovery back into the, this trend line and it being retested. Retesting to me is very important uh, that I find 80% of the time when this trend line is penetrated, the stock usually recover 80% of the time, very high uh, chance that the recovery will try to retest this line. And when the retest fails, the stock ultimately goes into a long-term decline like it happens here. But what's further interesting is that if you scroll uh, further into the future, you can see that the old trend line seems to hold uh, at point G, H, and I. That a, an old trend line um, ended about a year ago at F and still valid to uh, very recently. Um, this shows you that how important a uh, long-term trend line is and sometimes the trend line can hold for years if not decades.